Hey everybody, it's Mr. Johnson here. I wanted to go over Target 2 information in a little more detail. Uh, remember, Target 2 is I can explain how heat and light are produced in stars like our sun. So let's go ahead and take a moment and think about the conditions that need to take place uh, in stars in order for this to happen. So we know that stars are this, these massive things. For instance, our sun can hold about a million of our Earths inside of it, so if that tells you how big that is. Anything that big is going to have a huge amount of gravity, so that gravity is pulling everything in towards the center of the sun, which is where that pressure comes from. And the more pressure you have on something, the more heat it's going to produce. So the fact that you know our sun is so huge, it's producing lots of pressure and lots of heat. Um, just like we talked about in class when phase changes happen from a solid to a liquid, liquid to a gas, or in this case a gas to a plasma, um, the more heat energy that's in that, the, the faster the atoms are going to be moving around. So inside the sun, atoms are just zinging around at really, really high speeds. So here's a little illustration that we've got there. Um, normally, the hydrogen that's found inside of stars, since they're both basically a... Um, positive charge on them. They're both protons. Typically they would not want to get near each other. So if they approached each other at a slow enough speed, they would push each other away. Kind of like if you were playing with magnets. And if you try to push two positive poles of the magnets near each other, they're actually going to try to push your hands away. Well, it's the same type of thing with atoms. So these hydrogen atoms normally would not go anywhere near each other. But because of the speed at which everything is traveling around inside of the sun, they're actually just ramming into each other at full speed. And when that happens, they actually hit so hard that they fuse together, which again is why we call it fusion. So here's another little illustration of what that might look like. Again, this is just a model. They're going much, much faster than that. And again, they're much, much smaller than what you see here on the screen. So these new helium atoms, because when those two hydrogens hit, they form a helium atom. Um, it, these actually have less mass than the two hydrogen atoms if you added those together. Um, and we, we know that that just can't be. You can't get rid of, of matter. So we know that these, the missing mass from when these two hydrogen atoms fuse together is actually given off as a photon. So that's that light energy that is given off um, from the sun. So um, that's where the light from the sun is happening. The, the heat is actually coming from, from the, the gravity pulling everything in towards the center of the sun. Um, here's a, another little illustration showing that happen. The two hydrogens hit, fused, form helium, and then there's that flash of light that flies off in all directions. And again, inside the sun, this is happening every second. It's millions and millions and millions of these um, fusion reactions happening inside the sun, and this energy is just pouring out at all times. And we know that the amount of helium that is being formed during the fusion of these hydrogen atoms is a lot less than what's left over and that's where that extra light comes from. So if you have any questions go ahead and uh, come and see me otherwise I hope this helps you study for Target 2.